Hey guys, how's it going? Dane down here at Zim's Guitar. It's been kind of a crazy week down here, but um, in the Phoenix news, Lamb of God has had two of their guitars stolen, and three bit men have been arrested, but they have not found the guitars yet. A heavy metal band getting one step closer to justice after their guitars were stolen right here in Phoenix. The accused thieves now in custody. So Willie, the lead guitarist, he's got a Warbird. And this is like his signature looking guitar. It's his favorite guitar. He plays it at all the shows. And to, to be stupid enough to think that you could steal a guitar and take it to a local pawn shop or to take it to offer up and put it online, local Craigslist or something, that is an insane thing to do. Nobody, the word has gotten around. Everybody's talking about this. Everybody in all the local guitar shops are talking about it. Everybody in all the local pawn shops are talking about it. And so apparently, one of the guys that has been arrested um, posted one of these guitars on a local online site, which I'm guessing is offer up or something like that. And the other guy um, took one of the guitars to a local pawn shop and the guys at the pawn shop are like, dude, I'm not even going near that thing. Get that thing out of here. And so all three of the men have been arrested. Lamb of God's front man, Randy Blythe, he weighed in on these comments and he said, these three men are innocent until proven guilty. I hope they are given due process and a fair trial. Then whatever happens after, I hope they get some help. That one alfalfa looking dude needs a sandwich and about a week's worth of sleep and maybe some multivitamins. So uh, yeah, these are some pretty crazy looking guys that got involved in this. When you are trying to steal something to sell it, man, don't do something like that. That is insane. Everybody knows who that thing belongs to. You know, that was his favorite guitar. and. Tons of people all around the world are going to know whose guitar that is. You can't steal something like that. That is just stupid. <laughs> you know, and on down the road, even if that guitar did end up in a pawn shop or someplace like that, all your customers that come into that pawn shop are going to be like, dude, that belongs to Willie from Lamb of God. What are you doing with that guitar? So it's just a very, it's just insane for those guys to, um, if you take a, look at these guys um there are a couple of real funny looking guys and and here's also what happened now phoenix police department they've been working very hard on trying to recover these guitars and two um two investigators two detectives came into my store and they're like hey have you seen these three shady white dudes coming in here trying to sell you guitars and i'm like shady white dudes but if you look at these photos of these guys, that is a perfect description of these guys. They are shady white dudes. But uh, yeah, a lot of guys are thinking because it came out, they, it was maybe some sort of an in type, inside job where one of the truck drivers up at the um, casino up there, one of those guys knew those guitars were in those trucks. And so sometime between like midnight and um, 4.30 in the morning, Somebody let those guys get into the, one of the semis and get those guitars out of there. But just very interesting. And, you know, I, I don't understand why people steal guitars. Uh, guitars, for one thing, they, they hold their value. But to do something like that, where you're stealing a, a, a very popular band's signature guitar that everybody in the world knows that's his guitar, that's just uh, not a very smart thing to do. So again, a couple of guys have been arrested, and um, Lamb of God, what a great band. I hope they get their guitars back. I'll talk to you guys later. That was cool.